Greetings, sunshine. This is kind of a chinning two flying creatures with one projectile style of a video. It's like solving two problems. Could be two separate videos, but I thought that they're very related issues, so I'll do them together. Uh, it's all about managing properties on your drawing sheets. Very niche issues, but you never know who might find this sort of stuff useful. It's what my channel was built on, <laughs> just random issues. So I'm going to knock up a new drawing sheet. And then click base view, drop down a, a view of the assembly that I've got open in the background, which is this thruster. It's the same assembly that I used in the last video I did on the channel. Let's make this view a bit bigger so it looks in your face. I am the master view. I am the alpha view. Uh, oh my God. If that happens one more time, I swear to God, I'm going to change career. Anyway, right, there you go. That's the first view on the drawn sheet. So the issue is, it's not really an issue. It's just, it's what, it just is how it is, but we're changing the behavior of how something happens. What Inventor does, when you place the first view on your drawn sheet, it uses the model, whether it be a part or assembly, in the first view to populate the title block properties. So we've got the part number, we've got the description, and any other I property from that model is now populating the title block. And only one model can populate your title block on a drawn sheet. It's just is how it is. So what the guy was like you're saying is, well, what if I want to change what model populates the properties in here? How how do I do that? Uh, so we'll click base view. We'll drop down another assembly. Just come something completely different. Uh, that, for example. We'll drop him in. And uh, we've now got two assemblies as views on the drawn sheet. AH5257 and 7139. But you can see we've still got 7139 populating the title block. And that's normal. It's doing what it should do. Uh, and what it's doing is it's looking at the sheet and then the view order. You could have 20 views here, but Inventor's always going to use the view that's at the top of the list to populate the title block. That's how it works. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can't even reorder the views or it has to be like, nah, you're not doing that, mate. You can't reorder them. Uh, why you can't do that is an absolute mystery. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know why. But what if you want AH5257 to be on here, but you don't want to sort of delete that view and recreate it and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to replace the model reference because that would replace the view completely and put something else. Why, why, how, how do we do this, mate? Right, well, there's a bit of a hack. It works, but it's a bit of a hack. So what you can do, if you want 5257 to populate the title block, click New Sheet, Create Sheet 2, jump back into Sheet 1 by double-clicking it, expand it, grab the top view with the left mouse button and then just drag it onto sheet two and then drag it back up to sheet one, delete sheet two, <laughs> and there you go. It puts 7139 at the bottom after it's been dragged onto sheet two and back up onto sheet one. 7139 is now the second view. This one's now the top view and that one now populates the title block. Well, hacks, but it works, mate. It works, that's, uh, that's solving one problem. Right, so the other issue, let's get rid of that second, that, uh, that uh, other view. So the, the actual question the guy had, this was that was kind of just a bit of an extra one. So he said, I create detail views from this main assembly, but I put them onto separate drawn sheets. So he'll have maybe the main assembly on sheet one, you'll create a second sheet, and then you'll create detail views on sheet two of the assembly. But obviously what happens is, we'll use quick views for this, the, video I did last explained what quick views is. So we'll create uh, a detail view of a part that's in that assembly. Drop that onto the drawn sheet and then there you go. You can dimension that up, do whatever he needs to do with it. But what it's done is because that's the first view on this sheet, it's using the properties of this part to populate the title block on this sheet. Most people want that. This guy didn't, and I can understand why. He wants the properties of this assembly to be in this title block, even though that assembly is not in here as a view. How do you populate this title block with the properties of that assembly? Well, you can't. <laughs> you can't. You've, you've got to hack your way around this as well. So we're going to delete that view. And all you do, it's pretty simple, but it works. Create a base view of the assembly, right? Just drag it off. You don't even need to do this bit, but it's just, I don't know, being tidy. Drag it off to one side, right click on it, and then just suppress it. So that uses the assembly as the top view. And now any further views that you create, 
they're going to be placed as detail views. They're the only thing that are visible. But you can see the title blocks now using the properties of the assembly, and you can't see the assembly because it's suppressed off to the side there. So there's a there's another hack for drawn views. It's a bit messy, but it's uh, it's just the way it is, mate. It's just the way it is. Inventor's got a default way of working. If you don't like it, you kind of sometimes just got to hack your way around it, and that's that's how you do it. All right. So that's uh, two so two issues solved. How to change the main view on a drawn sheet and how to populate the title block with the model that's not visible. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, whatever. Someone might find that useful. If you found it useful, press like on the video and trying to trying to get the thumbs up to increase because uh, people forget. You know what I mean? It, it kind of helps me out by pressing the thumbs up. Or you can hit the other one if you didn't like it. If you thought it was a load of absolute tat. By all means do that if you're thinking well, i want to know more about this quick views thing i'll well, check out the last video that i did i'll put a little card up here so you can uh, you can link to that but it's a nice little tool for creating quick views of the main assembly or parts in the main assembly on your drawing sheet and uh, do get subscribed if you're not already because tons of people that watch my videos just aren't subscribed because they just come across them at work and they just quickly watch them and then move on but press subscribe mate because again it helps me out and i need it i need reassurance and validation <laughs> anyway, thanks very much, mate. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!